Guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Spark tutorial video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the intelligent flight mode known as Tapfly right here on your DJI Spark. Left part of the screen, three white icons, the bottom one, the remote, tap on that, that takes us to the DJI Spark's intelligent flight modes. You will see that we have six of them. Down in the bottom left corner, you see Tapfly. Let's select Tapfly, and then you will notice that the first thing you'll notice is that over on the far right, you have a little um, miles per hour or speed bar, whatever you want to call it. And that bad boy maxes out at 6.7 miles per hour. So uh, I guess that's um, basically what that's telling you is, is that you can't take the drone over 6.7 miles per hour when in tap fly mode. So anyways, second thing you may notice is right there on the horizon, right above it, you'll see a white line with a little circle in the middle. So what that's going to do is, is if we tap above that line, the drone is going to climb in altitude. If we tap below that line, it's going to descend in altitude. And basically this is called tap fly. So let's just get to tapping and get this thing going. So what I'm going to do is I want to head straight, so right above that white little line, which is my center point, I'm going to tap. As you can see, it flashes with a green circle that says go. So now I'm going to click go. So I tap to go, and as you can see, the drone is heading that way at 6.7 miles per hour. I'm not controlling this, and it's going to continue doing that until I give it other direction or other instruction. So, and you can see that it's ascending, it's 100 feet uh, up in the air, and now it's 105 feet up in the air and it's gonna keep going. So now I'm going to tap a little to the left and down below the horizon. And now, as you can see, it says the drone is descending and it's going to turn until that tap point gets back to the middle and it's going to keep heading that way. So I want to go ahead and start turning my drone around. And so I'm going to do a tap to the left. And then I'm just going to keep tapping to the left until I get the drone turned around. And I'll fast forward this process till we're back facing me. So this is pretty cool, not having to uh, touch the sticks and control them. The uh, drone is doing this all on its own. And I've just about got it turned around to where it's going to start heading back towards where I am. And there I am behind the tree. And now, so now we're at about 60 uh, feet high and we better, I see a tree coming up, so we better tap above and get it back to, to where it's ascending. And um, so anyways, guys, that's basically it for tap fly. It's just a mode that's set up to uh, record, make it easy for you. So um, I guess if you just had a long, straight, slow shot you wanted, you could just hit tap fly there and the drone is just going to slowly fly. And um, I believe if you tap right on the line, it'll see right there. Now I'm right on the line. So it should basically stay straight and not ascend or descend much at all. But anyways, that's about all there is uh, for tap fly. Just wanted to show you guys real quickly how to do it. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe um, as I will have a lot more DJI Spark and even DJI Mavic Pro videos coming up and uh, possibly some other drone stuff. I do a lot of tech reviews, a lot of camera gear, equipment, all that good stuff. So, um, and also um, how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro. Just all kinds of stuff on the channel, vlogs, production videos, you name it. Guys, give me a subscribe if you don't mind. This is Dylan. You guys have a good one.